To be clear, this does not affect domestic flights in the United States. This is for the 325,000 people who come into the United States every single day. Airlines must meet tough new security requirements. And if they don't, they could be banned from flying into the United States or everybody on board would be banned from having any personal electronics either in the cabin or the cargo hold. If international travel is in your immediate future, expect heightened security on the return flight home. Homeland Security ordering any airline that flies into a U.S. airport from abroad to meet strict new security protocols. We cannot play international whack-a-mole with each new threat. Instead, we must put in place new measures across the board to keep the traveling public safe and make it harder for terrorists to succeed. The new measures come after ISIS claimed responsibility for downing a Russian jetliner over Egypt and after a bomb blew a hole in the side of a Somali jetliner. Since March, passengers coming from 10 Middle East and African airports have been required to bag check any electronic device larger than a cell phone. A plan to expand the ban globally was shelved after airlines, foreign governments and frequent flyers pushed back. Instead, a global security upgrade, more thorough carry-on bag checks of foreign airports, more bomb sniffing dogs, more swabbing for explosives, and more 3D carry-on bag scanners like the ones being tested in Phoenix. Security experts warn every foreign airport is at risk. You have returning fighters who have been trained by ISIS or other groups in the Middle East that are returning to locations all around the world. That could increase the possibility of those smaller airports being higher risk. In Miami, mixed reaction. I do feel that it's, you know, kind of targeted to certain countries, and I feel that, uh, you know, it should be all countries. I feel that the world we live in today is so um, crazy, you just never know what's going to happen. I feel like we're trying to put a Band-Aid on a flesh wound and call it good. So 2,100 flights being affected every single day, and they come from all corners of the world, the Middle East, Europe, Canada, the Caribbean, Mexico, everybody treated equally. And as a result, the airline industry says it wishes there had been more collaboration because it says it prefers a risk-based approach where you focus on the riskiest airports. Instead, it's going to have to go along with what Homeland Security tells it to do. Mm -hmm. Guys, back to you. All right, Tom Costello. Tom, thanks. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.